This is African Cocktail coming to you from Africa Radio with NS Kanjo. Beautiful one day cycle part two. And just taking the time to seven minutes to twelve. And at uh, this point in time, we shall be moving over to Belgium. And precisely the metropolitan city of Antwerp. Antwerp where our man Titus Bano has been gathering, happening, and has put them together to now deliver it in form of a very rich package in this 56th episode of African Cocktail. Titus, you're welcome to African Cocktail. Yes, it is. Good morning to our listeners in the United States of America and welcome to Belgium, where we say Kuyemidak to mean good afternoon. Ernest, it has been raining for the past two days out here and it has been a hindrance to those who would want to go out shopping. Away from that, the Bali Cultural Association Europe will be holding their convention in Antwerp from Friday 11th to the to Sunday to the 13th of July in Antwerp. This will bring together the sons and daughters of Bali from all corners of Europe and America. Activities of the convention include a football match, the presentation of cultural activities, and a fundraising gala. The Okoyong Park Students Association, OPSA, is bracing up for their first ever fundraising gala, the event to take place at the Fitzval Atrium, Antrepon Stadium, will see the participation of OPSAs from all parts of Europe. And it's, while our sister in Germany, that's Miranda Oben, is organizing something for the uh, future of our kids that is out there in FN uh, on the July 12th, here in Belgium, another powerful lady, Ms. Tekla Mbunwe, founder of Africa Beauty International, has also announced a kids' talent show to take place on July 26th in Brussels. The show aims at identifying the various talents in our kids of African origin, who and will have a consequent promotion. The African Beauty International is an NGO based in Brussels with the aim of showcasing the beauty of Africa. And as, before I go, uh, after the 7-1 white wash of Brazil by the German Mannschaft in the ongoing World Cup, a lot is being said by football lovers out here, and arguments are already going on as to who has to carry home the coveted tournament. And as there are those even though the match between the Netherlands and Argentina has not yet been played, there are people who are already casting lots that the Netherlands is surely going to take home the trophy, while those who are supporters of the German team also say that following their last performance, it is no doubt that they will definitely carry home the trophy to Germany. Yes, Ernest, that was the bit we gathered from uh, the rainy city of uh, Antwerp. Except you have some questions for me. Definitely, I have one question before you go away, Titus. Um, you are CEO of uh, Batimo FM, and you are also a broadcaster par excellence. Uh, recently, you kicked off with uh, Pepper Soup, which is uh, a show which will henceforth be heard on uh, this station. Pepper Soup, just uh, the title, it would definitely uh, prick some you know, some minds to start thinking. What is Pepe Soup all about, Titus? Could you just tell us? Yes, uh, NS, uh, actually Pepe Soup is a program I conceived. It was actually a slot I conceived sometime around when I was still a student at the University of Boya. Hmm. And uh, on holidays, I usually uh, go to the Radio Bamenda, where I uh, participated in a, a fun-time show known as Taking Care Business. Right. There I had to conceive uh, Pepe Soup, which actually deals with uh, societal issues. Hmm. Um, uh, you know, we live in a society which is actually complex, especially the European society. Well, I have decided to bring back the uh, that slot into a full program, adding in a lot of uh, other things. Well, it talks about uh, societal issues, for example, um, the first edition that I uh, heard the other day uh, was talking uh, about uh, some very important issues. We do realize that out here, it might be the same uh, thing out there in the United States of America, but we have realized that out here in Belgium, when it is summer or even in the, during the winter period, when a party is being organized, there are people who come to the party very late. For example, a birthday party uh, meant for uh, a child. There are people who come uh, to the parties maybe at 1 a.m. when the child must be sleeping. Hmm. So what 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 uh, example are we setting to uh, our for our children? Right. And that's not the issue. We always 
always have it at the back of our mind that uh, time, time, it's an African thing, that it's not our thing, that it's the African time. What time? So we are trying to tell the world or to tell people that we have to actually respect time because uh, it looks like the wearing of watches is just for, uh, I mean, for fancy, not actually for the use of it because you will see a situation where somebody will be given an invitation to attend a party that kicks off at 9 a.m. and that person will be coming at 2 a.m. Hmm. For example, what are we, I mean, actually doing to ourselves? So that is just one of the things that I tackled and then we also have um, issues on Facebook, I know. Hmm. People may crucify me for this, but I don't care. I, I was I, I, I was going to, to talk to about that title. You see, in a, in, there are some issues where if somebody, for example, announces a flat event <laughs> that somebody has died, right, and then somebody likes the likes comment, <laughs> what are you liking? Are you liking that the person died? <laughs> and then you see people paste a lot of funny things on Facebook, and then you have people who come on Facebook and... Uh, they, 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 they don't have profile pictures, they don't have any pictures, and then they expect you to accept their friendship. What are you Facebooking? <laughs> yeah. Well, let me say, and the language of the, pro, uh, of the program, and that is uh, uh, the lingua franca, PG. Right. I, I don't know if there is any program in one of the radio stations out here in the diaspora holding uh, uh, a talk show or a program in Pigeon. So hmm. I decided to use Pigeon because, as I would say, as La Piro of Blessed Memory, say, for we were we don't get tongue for go to go for five from Waikili. Hey, we will lose the pigeon for knock the bracata. Thank you very much, Alex. Except you have one more question, I will be taking leave of you. Thank you. Let's leave other questions for next week. Probably you are an interesting broadcaster. I must confirm. Titus, do have a fantastic rest of the day out there in Belgium. Okay, same to you, Alex. Bye bye. <clears throat> okay, he's uh, our correspondent in Antwerp, Belgium. Titus uh, also. Runs Batimo FM. Like I said, when he gets on the air, then be ready to either take him seriously or uh, you laugh. He is a broadcaster par excellence. Okay, um, this is African Cocktail, the 56th episode of the show. It is special, special because we don't have anyone sitting in throughout the program as main guests, but then we have people talking from all the four corners of the world. Remember that we are going to touch Africa. We will be going to Texas. Uh, we'll make a stopover in Maryland. Then uh, we shall also have music coming to you from all corners of the great African continent. Let's see what we have now. Should we go back to Prince Eyango with Patum? Probably yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 